I was here for my money UTV. And we are to break us about this way chocolate drink. Do you hear any is you share any special ice mineral water dama any day a bro? Premo to a day. That's a doing in Bia no Ghana had your coach about the men in any of the canning in our booms. A via Cassia Bar would see it live and they will share live so a will UTV soon. And a Bako and this year, Mokono, or my central for she, Mamma, or the two, a jar and Yama Coso, Basabasayo, a yen day, a briar broom. And it's your to talk here, Coso, a will be judged me. You ever saw some near the end also, Eddie Abraham was also any of the Cocos. I'm on a book for a woman and a man, one crop probable. I will registration and I said, in judge me, dear nothing now. You know, Munina, a better train and come on. I also know that so MPP, Eddie Subo, Ebo, and DC for so much to a woman so as a woman, you mean, you know, if I did judge me, you know, and Coso, and so you do the common on it. I was South Africa, up and if you are a year, you are Nelson Mandela. Yeah, it's a woman, and this woman was almost only anti apartheid for our South Africa. No, back home, or so a woman, bra, where the infier a new crown in 95 years. Now, when he said, Baby, you know, you come home, say, You TV, every other case, but yeah, didn't you know, a baby, your family, if you're a poor queer, you have a seven moon chicken, and mamma. Now, chicken money, I shall see if you NDC, I mean, you call no one more Akache, and this I am sent off when she won't more air case, a broad nature, so you near Coso, I would enjoy me, dear, yeah, Nam so cross, so I for one nature special initiative, so yeah, mammy, how I come sink, or one Nam so I got to two or one more castle, one penny, one permanent human, and we see and woman, yeah, brace, and one more here, yeah, one year, one people for the boo, one more pabra, one more soon, a day, I can't, you're going to be dinner, say live, you're near Mad Bonnie, Mac Baron, a better chunk of a name, and sent off for Sue and your coin, you're Musa. And some young call and Sanya Koya Mani Boni no. Polling agents and supporters there maimed some of them, and you are saying what? She's been invited by the police. What has become of that invitation? If indeed it was an invitation, because it wasn't an invitation. The police rather went to her house. So we know that because this is a well thought out orchestration being supervised by President Ekufuado himself, who is commander-in-chief. She will be left off the hook like the several other MPP criminals, Honorable Elvis Efri Ankara mentioned, who have committed, who have been left off the hook despite the atrocities they have committed against NDC supporters and innocent civilians. And that is why we are serving notice you see, when you talk about things like this, people say, oh, you are complaining too much. You are talking too much. We are in opposition. We bet this fourth Republican democracy. And as a responsible opposition, a law-abiding political party, it is our, our responsibility to continuously highlight these acts of violence, these cruel acts which have the tendency to plunge this country into chaos and doom. It is our responsibility to do so, and that is why we are doing it. But above all, we also have a right to defend ourselves. And that is why our elections director, and even before today, our national youth organizer, has called on all party supporters to defend themselves in line with the right to self-defense provided under the Constitution. And today we are reiterating that call Comrades who are listening to us this afternoon, do not sit aloof and allow these cowards and criminals to beat you, maim you, and even kill you. You have a right to defend yourselves. Mobilize yourself. Come together. Whatever you can get, your, you, you can get to defend yourself against harm, against death, do so. Call on us anytime you need any support, and we will stand by you every step of the way to make sure that we resist this oppressive rule, this rule of terror and tyranny we are all being subjected to. And we know we shall prevail at the end of the day. But we have also cautioned members of our security agencies who still have their conscience intact, their integrity intact, and who are not happy with what is happening that they must rise up and be counted. This is the time for them to act. Today, the Ghana Armed Forces is being bastardized. As for the police, I mean, they've been rendered useless by this government, which has bastardized all state security agencies. But there are good people in there, and I dare say that the good people in there are in the majority. 
And that is why we are appealing to their conscience that people are giving the institutions you belong to a bad name. This is the time to act. As for the MPP hoodlums and bandits and their collaborators in our state security agencies, like Honorable Levy said, power is transient. December 7th is not far. The next NDC government will fish all of them out, including the policemen in uniform, that police commander at Ifutu, including all of them, Afenyo Mark, and all these members of parliament. And that is why he said that we are all in this country who know what has happened. You can consider that as a threat or a warning, because that day is coming, and it is re coming really quick. We will fish all of them out and deal with them drastically, including the men in army uniforms, police uniforms, and all of them. Apart from standing up to their intimidation now, apart from mobilizing ourselves to defend our people through every legitimate means, we will ensure when that day of reckoning comes, when that day of accountability comes, we will ensure that there is retribution. And that is why the international community, our religious bodies, civil society organizations, who are not happy with what is happening, some of whom are speaking up, like Bishop Arjuna Sari, like the security experts who are calling for the dismissal and the prosecution of that gangster criminal Turkish minister, Hawa Kumsen. That is why we are saluting all of them. We are encouraging them to continue to speak up. We will not stop the press conferences. But that doesn't mean that that is all we will do. We will defend ourselves. We have told our people to mobilize. If they attack them, they should retaliate. Through every legitimate means because they have the right to self-defense. That is what we will do. But when eventually, I'm saying when and not if, because it is just a matter of time, power shifts, then we will know what will become of these criminals and thugs and their collaborators in our state agencies who are terrorizing innocent civilians, including journalists, maiming people, killing people, and so on. That day will surely come. And so, Parker, what has happened is not an invitation. What is happening is a cover-up. We are aware, we know what the plan is. And we are telling them, all the people there, they are, they, are, they are making the police officers there. They are making their police career, the military officers. They are making their career in the military, that respected state security agency, coterminous with that of President Ekufuado. The day President Ekufuado will exit office will be the last day they will serve as policemen and military men. And we will deal with them mercilessly. That is a message we are sending across to them today. Thank you. Kluche, I can see that you have a question. Quick one. Ebusi avo ye ni abema sami je viwa director of communications ma NDC amenyokuno wano eno kasa ya nanu esi ye ya yamko ya mani boni wa Bayern ni yewe se.